When solving an absolute value function graphically, what you have to do is you have to graph the left side and the right side of the equation as two separate graphs. So the first graph I'm going to graph is I'm going to graph y equals the absolute value of 2x. So the absolute value of 2x is going to start at 0, 0, and I'm going to go up with a slope of 2, so up 2 over 1. When I draw in my line, I get some values below 0, and because it's an absolute value graph, all of those values need to be reflected. So this one's at negative 2, I'm going to move it to positive 2. This one's at negative 4, I'm going to move it to positive 4. And I'm going to draw my new graph. And I'm going to erase the part of my graph that actually isn't true. The second graph I'm going to draw is I'm going to graph y equals 4, which is, which is my left-hand side of the equation. Now y equals 4 is just a horizontal line going through y equals 4. To find the solutions to these equations, what I look for is I look for where are the points where my two graphs intersect. So the x value for this point is going to be negative 2, so one of my solutions is x equals negative 2. The other place where the graph intersects is at x equals positive 2. So I have my solution of positive 2. So my solutions for this equation are x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. Here's one that's a little bit more challenging. The two graphs I'm going to draw are y equals the absolute value of 2x minus 4 and y equals 2. So if I start at negative 4, I'm going to use a slope of 2 again until I've got my straight line. Then I'm going to reflect any of my negative values into the positive side. Draw my next line. Then I'm going to draw the graph of y equals 2, which is a horizontal line going through 2, and I find my points of intersection. So I find the points that are going to go through both lines. So in this case, one of them is going to be x equals 1, that's this point right here. The other one's going to be x equals 3. Now using this method of solving will work for both a linear function and a quadratic function. When you're drawing a quadratic, you just draw the quadratic, you'll have your parabola, and you'll also have the line going through it. And you're still just finding the points of intersection in order to solve the equation.